Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanna to teach you some of the prompt engineering basics that we can use to create amazing images out of Mid Journey version four. Let's do it. All right, so I am in Mid Journey right now. If you don't have an account, go sign up for a free beta on midjourney.com, I'll have it linked down below. But I'm in Discord here, and I've got my Mid Journey bot running. And so the first thing I wanna do is I just wanna make sure that we are running Mid Journey version four, the latest version, the best version. So I'm gonna do forward slash settings, I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm just gonna make sure that I am on Mid Journey version four right here, okay? So you can kind of toggle here if you want, but I'm just gonna use Mid Journey version four, and we're good to go. Yeah. Now, I wanna walk you through three very basic but very crucial parameters that we can use to tweak our prompts in Mid Journey. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you two last little tips of little things we can add to our prompts to enhance our images. Okay, so to start off, let's just come up with a base prompt, kind of our control prompt that we're gonna use to compare to the rest of our images throughout the rest of the video. So let's do something like a happy cartoon hamburger wearing a suit and tie carrying a briefcase, okay? And we'll let that cook and this will be our control group for the rest of the video. Okay, so here we go. Here is our first prompt. We can see we have a couple cool little cute options here. I like it. Okay, so the first parameter I wanna talk about today is something called the chaos parameter. Now the chaos parameter is basically exactly what it sounds like. If we want Mid Journey to put out images that are kind of chaotic, kind of outside the norm, then we want a higher chaos factor, okay? So the default chaos factor is zero. So these right here were a chaos factor of zero. But at the end of this prompt, I can do a chaos parameter by doing dash dash C and then adding any number between zero and 100. So in this first image here in our control group, the default chaos value is zero. So I will do 50 here, and then I'll do another one with a chaos factor of 100, and then we can compare. Okay, so remember, here's our control group, default chaos factor of zero. Here's our chaos factor of 50. So you can see just a little crazier, you know, just a little weirder. And then here's our chaos factor of 100, the highest chaos factor we can get. And you can see things are kind of going off the walls here. We've got this weird shape over here. We've got something in this hand it's off the wall. So with the chaos factor, you can kind of add variability and chaos to the images that you're generating. Okay, so the second parameter I wanna to talk to you guys about is called the stylized parameter. Now the stylized parameter runs from any value between zero and 1000 with the default value being 100. Now the stylized parameter is also kind of within the name. Midjourney wants to create very stylish, very artsy, artistic images for us. And the higher our stylized parameter, the more artsy Mid Journey will get for us. So to do this, we just come to the end of our prompt, we type it in dash dash S, and then any number between zero, which we'll do right now for zero style, and a thousand. So we'll do zero, then I'll also do 500, kind of halfway, then I'll also do a thousand for just a real artistic flair, the highest value we can get. Okay, so remember, here's our default control group images here with a style factor of 100, the default value. All right, so here's our prompt with our style factor at zero. There's not much artistic flair here. It's kind of bland, it's kind of dull. Here's our prompt with a style factor of 500, and you can see things are starting to get really fun here. I really like how this is looking, especially bottom left here is cool. I like top right. It's much more artsy, it's much more fun. There's a lot more flair here that Mid Journey is adding. And then lastly, here's our prompt with a style factor of 1000, the highest version you can get. So. Again, artsy, I don't like it quite as much as the style factor of 500, but still much more colorful, fun, and, and artsy than our control group. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys is how we can use different weights and attach those to different words in our prompts to tweak the outcomes of our images. So I'm going to use this stylized 500 prompt that I just wrote, and I'm gonna just add some weights here. So around hamburger, I'm gonna put some brackets and I'm gonna do colon colon three to give it a weight of three. And then briefcase, I'm gonna put brackets around that and give this colon colon weight of one. So I want theoretically the hamburger to be three times as heavy in my picture than my briefcase. That makes sense. So I'm gonna run that one and then I'm gonna switch it. I'm gonna make the briefcase three times heavier than the hamburger and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, remember, so here's our base prompt with a style factor of 500, no weights attached. Now here's our weighted 
prompt with a style factor of 500. Remember, we gave hamburger a weight of three, briefcase a weight of one, and you can see briefcase has now essentially been wiped out of the images. We've given hamburger too heavy a weight, briefcase is gone. And here, same prompt, but we've given hamburger a weight of one and briefcase a weight of three, and you can see the hamburger is now, except right here in this little one, completely wiped out of the images. So we've given, again, too much weight to the briefcase. But you can see here how we can attach weights to different words in our prompt to get different outcomes. So you can play with that as you need. Okay, so another fun parameter we can use is called the no parameter. And essentially we can use the no parameter to eliminate things from our images we don't want in there. Okay, so for example, in this grid right here, I don't want any of my hamburgers to be wearing glasses. I, I want those gone. So what I can do is I can come back to this prompt and copy it and paste it. And then to the end of my prompt, dash dash no glasses. And I can run that and Midjourney will get rid of the glasses. So in summary, we can use weights or the no parameter to either add or take out aspects of our images that we don't want in there. Okay, so in the last part of this video, I wanna talk through a couple different things that we can add to our prompts, adjectives and styles that can help us achieve the desired look we're going for. All right, so I'm gonna come back to my prompt here and I just wanna beef this up with a bunch of adjectives. I think adjectives are a great way to really get different looks that you're going for. So words like hyper-realistic, words like mesmerizing, words like magnificent, colorful, these type of words that can really add a look, a feel to your images. So I like using colorful and magnificent. Okay, remember, so here's our base prompt with a style factor of 500. Here's our base prompt with the word colorful added. You can see we've got a lot more color, a lot more pop here, especially in this one. And here's our base prompt with the word magnificent added to the end. So just a little bit more of a glow, a little bit more magnificent, if you will, in this prompt. Okay, so the last tip I wanna give you guys is to use different artistic styles in your prompts to get different looks. Now, there's a million of these we can use, but I'll give you a couple examples right here. So I'm gonna get rid of the word magnificent and I'm gonna go Pixar animation style. And then I'm gonna try surrealism. And then last but not least, I'll try Andy Warhol. Okay, remember, so here's our base prompt with a style factor of 500. And here's our prompt with a style factor of 500 with Pixar animation style applied. You can see it looks kind of Pixar-y in those three. Here's our prompt with a surrealistic spin to it. So it looks kind of odd and funky and surreal. And then last but not least, here's our Andy Warhol spin. So remember, we are getting this crazy variety of outcomes in our images by changing one word at a time. So I think that really highlights how important it is that we get really, really good at prompt engineering so that we can create the best images compared to our peers. We can really stand out from the crowd. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope this helps you take your first step to becoming a mid-journey prompt engineering pro. If you like this video, go down and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that'd be awesome. If you have any questions, get down in the comments and let me know. I'll get down there as soon as I can to help you guys out. Thank you guys so much for being here. It was awesome. I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.